Hey guys and welcome back to more Phoenix Point. Um, in the last episode we did a lot of faction missions. We still have one faction mission outstanding which is the Sinedrians which we're gonna do now. And we are going back to our full squad because I have to get the other guys leveled up. Once we have our training facilities done, we um, should be okay. I sold my food factory so we're minus seven food right now but that is only because in the next four hours we have our energy generator up and then have food production from another base so we are okay <laughs> and we're gonna have to start building another living quarters because we have to start focusing on getting another ship another aircraft and another eight living quarters which would be really cool so that's something we're gonna have to focus on but for now this is gonna be my training facility the base number one and I'm gonna basically build another three training facilities which means we have exactly 20 power consumption. It, this is where all our soldiers are going to go, that we're going to recruit. Now, the good thing is, once our training facilities are finished, Nigel will start leveling up. Nigel is a guy I can't make weapons for yet, so he literally cannot use any weapons we have. But when Nigel hits level 4, we're going to subclass him to sniper classes, because Nigel is an infiltrator. Infiltrators basically rely on stealth, and um, there's nothing better than stealth and a sniper and the, I think the sniper attributes would fit really well and at least we can give him a sniper gun then and he can stay back in the safety first and start taking people out when he starts getting into the mission. So I think that would be a good idea and then we're also going to start naming him as one of the patrons of course that are next in line. So in regards to um, leveling, we now have Yar. So, <clears throat> with Yar, I think what we should do with Yar, Yar right now has a lot of strength. We're doing fine, so let's actually take all this out here for the moment. And one of the things I want to do with Yar is, I know you guys were saying, oh, to put all the berserkers with to assault, but I really want um, to go my with my snipers into, I have my heavies to go into snipers, but I don't want my snipers to go into heavies, if you know what I mean. So I have my snipers go into assault in the moment, and I want my assaults, actually also this one, to go into Sniper because I think that would help Yar a lot. Because quick aim, uh, sorry, return fire with a Sniper Rifle should be pretty awesome. And I can't wait to actually get return fire for Darren as well because that should just be amazing. So what we're going to be able to do now is um, we're going to be able to give a Sniper Rifle to... Yar, do we have a laser sniper rifle already? No, we don't. We actually have to research them. I think um, they are the Sinedrians, and once we get cozy with them, we should be okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a sniper rifle in here, and that should allow us to... We have to bring something to heal as well. So let's not bring more shotgun ammunition. I think we're okay with that right here, like so. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to bring the sniper rifle so we can end on a turn on the sniper rifle and potentially have the return fire so we just have to remember to swap weapons out um, before we finish a turn and that's really all i'm bringing it for that's why i don't need any ammunition for it it's that's i want to try that out that's all i'm gonna do and with darren of course it's the main weapon so we're always gonna be on return fire with that one that's a no-brainer um i'm also gonna bring um fish bed i readjusted some of the inventory i'm not gonna bring the sniper rifle into fish bed the sniper class on fish bed was mainly so we can have um quick aim which is really, really good uh, to use on his all three action weapons because it means we can shoot twice, which is really cool. And the extra ability of um, getting the extra accuracy from Maxman later on is going to help out a lot. So Maxman is going to come in next and Fishbed is just going to be an absolute killing machine. Now, of course, one of these could eventually die. So that's why I need to make sure that Michael is going to come up to speed and that Jamie and Geo are coming up to speed. Now, Gino, Geo, I gave some heavy armor because... I think I'm actually going to mix him with either Assault for the dash ability or potentially with a Heavy because a Heavy has the Mela Brawler ability which do a lot of damage and seeing that a Berserker has an insane amount of damage coming from Mela weapons. I mean, this is 100. The next Mela weapon I think is the Hammer which does like 120 or something like that. That's just insane. So we could have basically somebody doing 200 damage on a melee attack. And a melee attack is one action point. So I just don't know how feasible melee is in this game yet. So anyway, 
that's all the waffle around the personnel and the plans for the personnel now the next thing we need to do is go on a mission with those guys to get them leveled up first we're going to let them heal up and then we're going to head down to Sinedrian's base to do the mission there and then we're going to focus on these missions here we already can go to frozen not frozen sorry to prisoner of ice i think we can go was it frozen or prisoner of ice frozen and then from there we can do an area scan here to unlock the ability to go to the other missions now there is um, other things we can do biogenesis genesis and all that we can go there as well so we can do a lot of things while we wait for our area scans to complete so it should keep us busy in this episode all right here's a special mission i think we just have to kill a couple of soldiers well a couple they're probably tough we'll see the other missions were okay but we're not bringing our scar up anymore so let's start the mission Let's check out what we have here. We have the equipment here. We have some reload weapons. Very good. We have Darren here. There's a heal in the back pocket. And I think we're going to go for the reload here. So apparently if you have your ammunition in the ready slot, it doesn't cost you any actions to reload. Reload only costs actions because they have to take it from here into, well, whatever. They have to take it from the body or something like that. And that's costing the action point. So for here, I would say we leave all this equipped because we do want the sniper rifle to end on the turn for return fire. So I can't wait for that. Do we have return fire already on Michael? Yes, we do. Okay, excellent. And I think we're okay. We bring in a lot of healing in case we have to heal others as well. And I think we're set. All right, let's do this. What is this? Ah, not interesting right now. Let's go. I keep getting sidetracked with things to look at. Oh, okay. In a scavenging mission, the more crates you prevent from being destroyed, the more resources you will get at the end. Yeah, so for scavenging missions, I was thinking we're going to be able to do, like, say, a scarab and then the three weakest um, soldiers. So that way we have an easy time as a scarab to destroy enemies, but at the same time we level up a lot quicker with the three um, characters because they have to share the experience between lesser people. So, between less soldiers. I never get tired of seeing this. Okay, so let's see what we got. Okay, so it is basically um, a city. So we want to be careful in cities. Now, because we had a haven and someone was asking that in the comments. Now, as far as I know, unless they change that, any crate that you have, and not the resource crates, the crates you can open on um, a map, you will get the materials and the items that were in it afterwards when you finish the mission automatically. So you don't, I don't even think you have to open them. You just, you just finish the game and everything that was in it is for you. I think. I could be wrong. You might have to open them, but I think you get them. You don't have to pick them up. The same with the weapons of the guys that drop uh, the, the items on the ground. You should just get them. However, the, if you find any of those weapon crates in a mission when you're doing a mission in, uh, sorry, during a mission for a haven, I was told I have to be careful not to open them and not to take items because you're actually stealing from the faction. Because this is a faction haven, so you're stealing from them and that's frowned upon. And I think you get bad reputation from that. I'm not sure. I never tried it, but that's what I was told in the comments. So if you have any more info on that, let me know in the comments below. Okay, so this is a pretty big map. I just made myself a little bit more aware where we're actually standing. We, we start pretty central. We're wide in the open, so we have a lot of half cover here which is not good. There's some full cover here on the pillars, which we should probably use. Now, when it comes to full and half cover, half cover, you kind of duck behind, so it's very hard to aim sometimes at people here on the side because they don't step out. I hope they're gonna change that because you should be able to step out from somewhere behind if you're crouched. So, which means if an enemy is here and I'm here, sorry, say that's half cover, I'm here if that would be half cover, and you go into the free aim, you can't actually free aim at the person, but I think if you auto shoot, it goes step sideways. So I think that's a bug, but I could be wrong about that. So I always prefer full cover if I want to shoot at somebody beside it, because then you can step out during the free aim. I just thought I let you know that. That's what we discovered last time. So let's start with Darren. Darren is, oh no, he doesn't have dash. We have to start with Yar. What's our plan? Where's Yar? Waiting There's for Yar. action. Waiting for action. Waiting for action. She doesn't look red here, and she has red armor. That's why I always forget uh, where, where she is down here. So let's um, get some will points spent on dash, and let's say let's dash over here. 
Okay, nobody here. I'm then ready. we go with Jamie. We're also gonna do a dash, but we're gonna keep it on this side. <coughs> For now. No time to lose. Okay. Do a second dash. Okay, that's a bit worrying now. So I would say let's go for full cover if we can. This is half cover, but this is full uh, cover because it's a double tree. Oddly enough, this is not even half cover. Okay, I would say we're gonna go here. We have a lot of things I standing right in front of us. Getting there. And let's put Jamie on overwatch into this direction especially here mm, yeah up to there we go because i don't think they would be coming from here because we should have seen them now yeah i'm gonna leave there as a backup right now now fish bed can walk quite far actually so i'm going to put fish bed I'm actually going to put fish bed right here and then aim down. Actually, I'm going to put fish bed here. There we go. Moving now. And we're going to go for an overwatch right here. Let's let's keep the overwatch on this side. I'm on overwatch. All set. Now, Darren, we're gonna put here. And on full overwatch going here. Now, he's a sniper, so he could actually go out a little bit more. Like so. Overwatching. Just in case. And for Yar, I would say we're gonna put Yar right here. Let's go for the second dash. And we're gonna go a little bit further here with ya. Excellent. Okay, so Geo has heavy armor now, but still can, as you can see, can walk a lot. So I'm gonna stay here. No time to waste. So let's see where we might not have any cover. So it looks like we don't have this door covered, so we shall do that. Okay, that was the wrong one. I wanted to zoom out a little bit. And now with Michael, we're literally just heading out as much as possible. Gotta we do going. one dash. I'm gonna stay well, here. Going. And just in case, because actually nobody is looking after the backside, I don't think anything will be coming into the back. But something could have been hiding there. So we're gonna leave that here. Oh, I forgot to put Yar onto the sniper rifle. Okay, we have somebody right there on the end. Okay. Enemy spotted. Okay. Oh, there we go. Nice. Oh, mid fall. Beautiful. Okay, that, that's a sniper. Four snipers. Oh, wow. Okay. Interesting. So if we look at the sniper rifle with Yaa, what's her accuracy in the moment? Wow, it actually isn't that bad at all. That is pretty amazing. Okay. Okay. Let's not go for that just yet. There's another person in here. I'm a bit curious to know who's in there. 
So I would like to bring Jamie in here. On the move. There we go. That's what I taught. Okay, they haven't seen us yet. So we could go right here. And then overwatch right here at the door. Make it a bit wider. Only for them to come through. Actually, we're gonna make it wide enough in case they come around here. If you know what I mean. Yeah, like so. Holding position. Okay. Now, fish bed. I think we can come a little bit forward with fish bed. We can take the grenade launcher and see how far it goes. It goes up to here. Okay, let's bring him forward. We can go up to two. Do a quick aim. There we go. Nice. Oh. What's happening? Oh. That sucks. I can't aim at anything. Why is that? Why can I not aim at anything? Oh, that would hit the pillar I'm hiding behind. Are you kidding me? Okay. Here goes. Yeah, I can't aim at them. I don't know why that is. Why is that? I can go all the way over here, but I think the trees are in the way or some some nonsense like that. That is terrible. Okay, let's go and use the machine gun and see if we can take a shot at one of them. Yeah, that doesn't help. Okay, I wasted that quick. Draw, I think. Yeah, Let's we're gonna do have to this. move back and just go into the Overwatch. I'm gonna go here in case the other guy comes I out of this, this door. Yeah, sorry about that. I completely misread that now. So we're gonna move Geo. I would like to move Geo up to the tree, but let's see how far we can get. If I go here, yeah, that would be good. Let's go here. Sprinting. And zooming in. That's a bit far, so we're just gonna go on Overwatch, but not too far away. Gonna make it a bit narrower. And just cover this area in case they actually come through this building here as well. Okay. I'm gonna get to Yar in a second. Jamie. I'm gonna bring Jamie all the way up, I would say. Are we gonna recover with Jamie first? Yeah, no, let's bring Jamie up all the way. And just in case somebody's coming from this side. Now, what am I gonna do with you? Yeah, everything is so wide open. I can go up here, top, up top. Yeah, that would be mean. I have potentially four people shooting at me. That wouldn't be good. That would not be good. Yeah, I think I'm going to stay right here because this is literally the best place. And then I'm just going to go onto an overwatch with the sniper rifle and cover the whole area here. The the front row. These two, these two guys. This This up to this area here. And I'm gonna bring Darren as far as possible out. 
Let's see, can I actually get a good shot off this Darren? Okay. Let's do two shots. Let's go for quick aim. Because that gives us also an increased accuracy of 25%, so we might get even, even a nicer, smaller cone. Yeah, that's good. We'll go right for the head. There we go. Okay. Let's finish him off. I know he's bleeding, but his 10 bleed is actually not going to be enough. Because I think he has 20 health left or 28. Yeah, so we better finish him off. There we go. Excellent. That's why I love Darren. Very, very nice. So sorry this was a bit dragged out. I'm going to leave it in unedited. You wanted to see it all. And yeah. Oh, yes. Boom. Look at that. That is awesome. With the sniper rifle. Let's get moving. Now, where is he coming? Oh, he ended his turn there. Oh, man. Oh, he's coming through the building. I knew that. I, I figured that. That's why I was expecting that. If he would come through here, I had that covered. Is he taking a shot? No, he's doing Overwatch. Action. Take this. Oh, what is this? What is this? <gasps> what was that? What was that? That was weird. What is this? Okay, let's go to Darren right, here for right, a second. Right. Identifying target. And let's go right into the torso. Excellent. So we have two people with damage now. I'm gonna bring him up, bring Darren up for a better aim. Now, what is going on here? Okay. So I think we could finish him. Let me see. What damage do we do? 40 times 4. And what is this armor value? 18 on the head. So it would be 40, 80, 120. So we're not going to do it in one shot. And does he have return fire? I don't think he has return fire. And he doesn't seem to have a... Hand a, a sniper rifle. Okay, so to be able to take two shots, I would say let's um, let's go here because I want to be behind cover in case we have a return fire. And now, excellent, beautiful. Let's see if we can aim kind of for something that is less armor. The leg, yes. Let's go for the leg. Okay, equipment damaged. Just in case there was a return fire, because sometimes, I don't know, I have seen other people play it where there is no return fire on the person, and then all of a sudden they have a return fire. So, oh, do we have a kill? Is there not a kill shot? Oh, look at that. We have a kill shot here. Yes, excellent. Beautiful. Well done. Well done. That was really well done. Nice one, Michael. And does he have anything left? No. So I think we can dash potentially up to the top of the building. Gotta keep going. And then we can come from the height, which is really, really good. Okay, so let's see. Geo. I'm gonna need Geo to stand here by the door and watch the door. We could take a shot. Gotta be quick. Targets in sight. Oh, what is this? <sighs> Poison crossbow. Oh, nice. If we could get his weapon, that would be sweet. Look at his armor. Nice. That's the infiltrator. Okay. So I would say, let's step a little bit back. And I'm mainly interested in 
I don't want to shoot at him if he comes just around the corner. So we're going to keep it in this angle here. There we go. All right, fish bed. Do you know what you can do? You can come forward. No, actually, do you know what? Acquiring you can take target. a shot from here. Okay, let's go with quick aim. Targeting. And let's just go for it. Twenty foot damage minus two armor. Okay. We have an Overwatch now. We can bring on. And I'm gonna keep my Overwatch narrow, but exactly on this guy. I'm on Overwatch. Just in case. Now. I'd say definitely give it a shot. Absolutely. Okay, there was an overwatch. Nice. And... Yeah. Let's do it again. Okay. Let's see if we can finish her off. Repositioning. I hope this works. I hope so too. Jamie, get your kill shot. Over with. Oh, okay. Let's just hope we can get a little bit. Yes! Kill you control. are a beauty, Jamie. Nice. Okay, she might be a little bit open here, but hopefully this goes well. Born again anarchist. Okay. Who are you shooting at? Oh. Wow, that was a good shot. Okay. We have no return fire triggered, okay. That was a really good shot. Okay, we're gonna start with Darren again. Ready to fire. On the other side of the tree now here. Where's our friend actually? Hang on a second. Where's our friend gun? Where's he gone? There's a door here. Is the other door in here? How do I get here? They, yeah, the door is right here. Okay, let's move into here. No time to waste. Okay, let's go with um. Oh, beautiful. That was just nice. That was nice. Okay, and we haven't got any. No, we can't do any return fire. Okay. Let's leave that here. Repositioning. We're gonna bring Yar around. Confirming target. Yeah, let's do it. There we go. Hostile neutralized. Excellent. And now, um, let's bring Jamie around and see if Jamie can get a shot off here. That would be pretty cool. Moving. Come on, Jamie. Just take a shot. Nice. Good hit. Good hit. Absolutely. Perfect. And I would say fish bed. We're going to bring it all the way. I don't know if I can destroy trees, but I certainly would like to try. <laughs> so why don't we go here? And um, go on overwatch on the tree. There we go. I got this covered. And Jamie... Oh, look at you. You can actually go... Oh, you got a good Moving shot. To coordinate. Good shot on that. 
Ready to fire. Oh, come on, Jamie. That would be awesome. Oh, yes. <gasps> beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. Is that him? No, that's the dead guy. Where's our last... It's... He's right here, is he not? Hang on a second. Where is he? He's behind this tree. So we have Yar here. And then this tree here. Let me try that again. We have Yar here. Yeah, so that's that's him. Oh, there he is. Oh, that would have been so sweet. Right into the Achilles heel. Okay, let's uh, leave it. Yeah, he's dead. He bled to death. It would have been really nice. Oh, that wasn't all of them. Yes, of course, the other guy in the office. Okay, let's see if... Um, Geotundra can take him on. Okay. So let's move into here. At the same time, do the armor break, which will cost four will points. Yeah. And now, attack with the melee weapon. Oh, 80 damage, 10 bleed, 20 armor. Oh, yes. That is that is sweet stuff. Now, we're going to get shot right in the face, which is not good. Which is not good at all. But I want to try something. Um... Let's try this. Let's see. Can we destroy it? Oh, we can! This is sweet. This is gonna be sweet. Jamie, I think you just got your kill shot. Oh, how did Jamie not get a kill shot? There we go. Come on, Jamie. That is all yours. Let's move away with fish bed. Uh, with uh, Geo. And Jamie, take that shot. Boom. Jamie, beautiful. I love that. Fish bed destroying the environment. Jamie taking the shot. That was a beautiful mission. Oh, excellent. Okay, look at that. Getting experience here. Beautiful. I don't think anybody leveled up unless I missed something. I don't think so. My name is Athena, and I'd like to thank you on behalf of Synedrion as a whole. You know, outsiders sometimes think of Synedrion as a bunch of naive, helpless people living in a big bubble. And I know we can appear that way. But the truth is, we are more like a powder keg. Trying to build a truly democratic society without hierarchies involves a lot of arguing. The terraformers want one thing, the polyphonic tendency another. Zara clashes with Nikolai, Stas tries to keep everyone calm, Every haven has a totally different set of priorities. And then something like this happens. I'm being honest about our flaws because I think crazily enough, the whole thing works. We've built something remarkable, given everything we've been through. And the Phoenix Project could help us really make a difference on this wretched planet. Think about it, please. We have a lot in common, and here's your payment. We believe in people being rewarded for their labor. I need resources, so I'm gonna take that payment. You're oh, we welcome. Got rack. I hope we can Tech. work together again. And we got two more attitude, that's good. So, we can do their, their mission now. Oh, we already had that, uh, yeah. Biogenesis. Deploy genetic modification seeds in an attempt to retake the ecosystem. Maybe that's the first thing we should do. So let's go and heal our squad. I think our squad did really well. So let's move here. I don't think... Oh yeah, by the way, also one of our bases had a satellite. So we have two 
scan area scans now available to us, which is amazing. Okay, before we do the other mission, I think we should kick off our area scan. So one area scan I want to do here because that's actually beside us, for this point away. Trading facility ready, good, I like it. Nice! Okay, new items for manufacturing. Pandoran capture containment. Specialized Pandoran containment facilities have been designed and successfully tested, allowing us to safely keep Pandorans in a state of constant paralysis. This represents a step forward in our struggle to understand their biology. Okay, that's good. So what we might actually do is just queue these things up straight away if we can afford making them. So here we go. Let's queue up two. So that way we could have two soldiers that potentially can get very close to knock somebody out. I assume that's how they work. We might as well explore this quickly. <clears throat> the Manticore One has encountered a large group of Anu pilgrims following the path through a Hesychastic cigarette, a nearby sacred site said to bring peace and oneness with the dead god. Despite the extreme danger of such travel, they are only lightly armed. Accompany them. Okay, disciples of the Phoenix Project plus three. 30 skill points have been obtained. Wow, nice. We actually got generic skill points added to our list. That is amazing. That is nice. That means we could potentially... Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, we got 30 free points, so I think it's only fair that we spend 20 of them on Marksman for a fish bed. No, we wait until he levels up again. Let's not get greedy. Let's keep them as a backup just in case we really need them. Okay, we want to put an area scan, I think, right here. There's actually also um, something to hire, but again, I don't I don't have any room right now to hire, so we're not gonna really do that. But um, let's kick the area scan off. And then we do another area scan right here, I think. Is it here or I think so. Yeah, let's do the other area scan right here. Research complete. Oh, nice. Fireworm autopsy. Summary. The fireworm contains multiple chambers of various chemicals which are mixed in detection of an enemy to cause large incendiary explosions. The creature kills itself in the process. Genetic origins 28%. Annihilate 72% unknown. Function. They inflict as much damage through the incendiary explosion. Possibly a defense mutation of Pandora nests. Um, but has been since in the offense uh, roles. That's true. Mechaniz mechanisms. The powerful incendiary chemical mixture is combined via several internal chambers. That's what you just said. Mobility surprisingly agile with limited high jump capabilities. Limited high jump. So they can jump at least one block high. Strength immune to fire. Weakness relatively easy to kill. I like it. Nice. And now we're researching the hatched sentinel. Oh, there's some more researchers. Which became... Enabled. Oh, what is this? Oh, we can't research these things yet. We have to actually capture one of those and then we can research. Oh, how do we capture a mindfucker? Holy balls, it's gonna be tricky. Okay, let's do another area scan right here. There we go. And now. Oh, Anu Haven is under attack. Let me see. We are 27 with them already. Attacking force points 11, 22. I think we should do it. Oh, okay. We, I've, we're gonna go there and see if we get there in time. And then after that, we're gonna do Frozen. Because I think this will be really good for our reputation. Not only that. If they're still, come on, leave. Oh. Several members of base personnel have been caught sleepwalking and drawing elliptic shapes in the walls in an overlapping almost hypnotic pattern that induces feelings of anxiety in onlookers. On waking, the individuals were confused but otherwise unaffected. Okay. Hopefully, they're still going to be there when we get there. Okay. Damage inflicted on hatchling sentinels is increased by 15%. The hatching sentinel is somewhere. This remarkable structure is a living DNA laboratory, constantly mutating new variants of Pandoran creatures. 
Wow, it produces egg-like structures which are gestated in Pandora nests. Once hatching sentinels within a nest structure are destroyed, the nest is neutralized and quickly abandoned by any remaining Pandorans. Offensive mutations. No offensive capabilities have been detected. Defense mutations. The hatching sentinel can detect intruders and then induce all eggs with a white area to hatch immediately. That's that whole electric thing that we saw. Countermeasures. On detection, destroy the organism as soon as possible in order to prevent mass hatching. Yeah, absolutely. So let's see if we get there with a little bit of action left. That would be great. Come on, a little bit of action left then. Oh, yes. Okay, great. Attacking strengths doesn't matter. We start the mission. Even if it means we immediately win the mission, it doesn't matter. We get a reputation by helping out, which is good. This is going to be interesting because I don't think there's any more enemies left. <laughs> But um, we'll see. <laughs> so let's start uh, with Jamie. Um, I suppose walking over to this corner. Okay, we can't see anybody there. So let's just stay here. Then with Yar, I would say we're going to go to the other side. can't see anybody either so let's just go really wide area cover with fish bed uh, sorry with geo i would say we're just gonna go and stay right here and just do an overwatch in the center fish bed I would say let's bring fish bed around here. Okay. And then with Michael, we can potentially move all the way Pushing across. Lock. I just can't jump that gap here. So we're just going to do two dash. There we go. And then we're going to go with Michael, I suppose, just here. Sorry, we have a little bit of cover. Ah, there we go, enemy spotted. Okay. They have pain chameleons, so... Let's see, we have Darren. can do quick aim so where is okay it's over here so I would say yeah let's just come all the way across and let's leave Michael on overwatch for an overwatch that actually makes sense so let's do it very close to the doors there we go. Okay. Nice. Well done. Okay, they're disappearing now. And then, of course, we have another one here. Okay. So we have two coming in. Fish bed. I like that fish bed can actually come down here. And I think what would be great if fish bed can come down here. I like the way he just jumps down the building. There we go. And then with quick aim. I think his overwatch, he, does he not have the extra ability of, of a lower cost of overwatch? Yes. So what we're going to do is we're going to do quick aim. And I'm not sure we can do indoor. Let's try this. Okay. Targeting. But let's do this instead. Right in the torso, if possible. Yes, torso disabled, <laughs> leg disabled. Oh, beautiful. And now we can do an overwatch. Oh, why can't we do an overwatch? We have one left. An overwatch costs... 
one less action point. Okay, a little bit confused. Okay, let's start here. Jamie. We have to bring Jamie downstairs. Here we go. Beautiful. And now getting there. we can put Jamie on Overwatch right here by the door. Come on. This is very hard to aim. Here we go. Let me see. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. <sighs> Michael. Michael could walk behind the alien. That would be awesome. Oh, look at that. Look where Michael can come to. That's just amazing. But I think we should go with full cover if possible. Yes. And that way we can, in case it has a return fire. Does it have a return fire? It doesn't say so, but, you know, it could have. So, we're probably better off, or what we could do is we could hide. Oh, yes, let's do this. Let's go behind it, end of story. I changed my mind 50 times now. So, let's go behind it if we can. I'm going. I've got a vision. Oh, we got another one? Okay, there's another one over here. Does he have a... Oh, crap. Okay. <sighs> Let's do this. Oh, the torso is 90. I have 40 times 4. It's 30. Okay, let's hang on a second. Okay, we, we're gonna have to. I think we're gonna have to go inside. I'm a bit worried about the guy over to the other side, so let's get five our five. sniper. Advancing. Okay. Quick aim so we can get a little bit of extra percentages. And if we can get the, not the machine gun, oh man, this is tough. The car piece, we have the legs, let's go for the legs. Disabled and bleeding. And I would say for the overwatch, Here we go. Now Geotundra could potentially come all the way down here as well. Sprinting. Just in case something is coming from the other side after all. So I would say let's set a overwatch up here and now get Yar to come all the way down here. If we can, with da as many dashes as possible. Crunch get time. a dash here. I like the way they just jump down, it's so badass. Excellent, so now we can do another overwatch from here. And we're going to do the overwatch with a sniper rifle. 
Oh, we can't do an Overwatch. Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah, I don't have the cheap. Yeah, we're going to have to go Overwatch here with this. Oh, let's go very targeted. Right here. <sighs> okay. Let's do it. We're going to damage the... Actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to go Overwatch. And the reason we're going to go with an Overwatch here is... If I shoot now, it goes invisible. If I do an Overwatch, three people will shoot at it, potentially, before it goes invisible. I think that's best. Yeah, I think that's best. Okay, so let's... Let's keep the overwatch on a very narrow so that we can literally just get it here on the wall as it goes in. Okay. Holding position. Let's see if that works. <laughs> nice. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. 74. But he has returned fire. Nice. Zero damage, but bleed. Very good. Oh, look at that. Why is he going... Oh, no! That backfired. That backfired a lot. I thought he would be going here. Oh, my balls. That backfired seriously bad. Okay, what is he doing? He's doing the mist, okay. Did he just curse at me? Did he just said F you? Okay, he can't. Okay. Okay, he's here, so. What's our plan? Let's go as quick aim. less to worry about beautiful beautiful okay now i'm gonna try something else let's go for another quick aim i don't know if that was the second one uh is there another one here i don't know but you know what we're gonna find out i don't want to hurt my own guys so let's do this there we go Nice, 50 bleed. He's dead. So it was the second one that was there. Oh, he still has eight health left. Are you kidding me? Okay. Yeah, we're gonna need to heal here. Do we have heal? We do. Um. Can I go in and get healed? That might actually be better. So if I go... Hmm, we need to take care of these two guys here. Uh, ready. Oh, what is this? Okay, let's do that. Right there. Confirming target. Hostile missed. Okay, here's the shield, which is obviously bad. So with Jamie, I think we can do an overwatch here because I know there is an invisible thingamajig down there. So maybe we can get through the window. And who do we have left? Geo.
Okay, let's go this way around with Geo. Got to be quick. Yeah, this guy will die. That's that's of course. And let's take our sniper. Taking aim. Just in case we need um, two shots. I don't want to go into the shield if possible, but the car piece would make sense. Okay. And I think we can take him out now. Excellent. And now we can heal up. Okay. And can we have an overwatch still? No. Can't have a shot. So I would say let's hide. We can't hide. <laughs> this is terrible. Okay, let's hide here. Just in case this guy comes back. Yeah, very strange. The mission takes longer than expected because they get a little bit more tactical now. I really thought there was nobody left, so I was literally underestimating this mission. Well, he's dead now, but... Oh! You have a silent shot. You see how he tried to get to us? Ah. Equipment damaged. Okay. Five by five. Now, I'm actually going to go out with Jamie now. And... Gonna kill him because I want the kill shot. Or Geo, actually. Ready for can do it with Geo, that would be great. No, we can't. Ah, oh, what a pity. Would have been nice. So he shot from over there, so... I wonder... Somewhere here. Hmm. Let's do a Covering. white cover here. And with Jamie, I'm gonna go here. There we go. There he is. Okay. But I don't want him to go invisible again. Okay. I hope this helps. Mm, this is so tricky. Can we get Michael for some revenge into here? He's gonna go invisible, but let's do it. Disable the head, so no more silent echo. And he can't actually hide if... Hang on. Where's Darren? Where's Darren? Okay. Darren can come down here. And do a quick draw on the assault rifle. So if he comes here, maybe he's gonna be exactly by the alien. Yes! Oh, beautiful! Boom! That's it. Alien dead. No, it's not dead. Interesting. Could we destroy its car piece? Damage 10 to 30. 
It's only 15 armor left. Uh, no, torso is... Okay. Pain Chameleon could be disabled in max hit points. I don't think we can kill it. Oh, here we go. Hostile down. Okay. Excellent. So Jamie can take out our friend here. Nice kill shot there, Jamie. That went that went worse than I thought because I didn't realize that so many were left. But it was worth it. I don't know what the faction leader experience is. I have no idea. The fact sorry, not the faction leader, the, the haven leader. But oh what did we get? We got a virus rifle. Ooh. That is good. And we got a Warhammer. Oh, that is good. That is good. So if we go to Geo. <laughs> that is 140 damage, baby. Oh, yeah. That, that is good. I like that. Who is that for? It's a, it's a rifle. So how come... Nobody's able to use it. Huh. So that must be for a completely different class. I wonder if it's for the priest class or the technician class or something. That is pretty insane. And then we have the, ri ri the rifle magazine. Okay. Fair enough. This is bad. There's a haven under attack over here, which we don't have a connection yet. But we are working on a connection. We are trying to get there. But we can't get there yet. And yeah, we're gonna have to get more bases with <laughs> abilities to um, leave a ship there. So we need a second ship. We definitely need a second ship. Yeah, the haven has been destroyed. It just told us. So that's terrible. <laughs> so we might as well explore these guys here while we make our way. Okay, we have a scan complete. Okay. Fair enough. Um, let's just scan a little bit here as well. Research complete. Nice. Okay, the Chiron autopsy summary. Uh, Chirons or Chirons are newly discovered mutations without any previous precedent. We speculate that they originate from a more advanced structure than those used uh, to gestate Athrons and Tritons. They fulfill a support role attacking from a great distance, although some mutations um, have close-range capabilities. Genetic origins, Arthropod, um, Coleoptera, Homo sapiens. Ooh. And 55% unknown. Functions, long-range attack, limited close-range capabilities and mutations. Um, abdominal launcher, explosive worms, goo, close range, stunning stomper legs, front leg, mailer variant. Defensive mutations, heavily armored legs, very limited but agile variant, can leap. The head is poorly armored, target for maximum damage. Okay, makes sense. Okay, let's finish exploring that. Okay, search the site. Tacker materials, nice. Um, might as well just quickly do that. Do a little bit of exploration, I suppose. We're gonna do Frozen today and then the rest next time. So let's see what we have here. Oh, we can get some more tech from some food. We have nearly 2,000 food, so I think... Oh, this is in 6 to 4. That's really good. Well, I don't know if it's good, but... Um, yeah, it's not really that good. Um, so let's go over here. Let's explore that. Sinitrians completed research, Venom Crossbow, Mist Repeller Development, Haven Ford Loki. Okay, explore. Research complete. Excellent. Mindfrogger eggs. The specimen's shell has proven to be considerably durable, able to resist fire, acid, and small firearms. The egg contains various animals and plant DNA strands. So far, it has been determined that the eggs act more like a biological stasis. We read that before, I think. The exact mechanism by which the specimen appears to grow remains unknown. Additional findings field reports indicate that Mindfrogger eggs react to human and mechanical presences in beginning hatching sequences when any foreign entity approaches them. Okay, I think that's all our research nearly done. 
Well, we might as well queue this one up, but um, Maduk Fist, and then there's nothing else we can research right now. Okay. And manufacturing, we have nothing new either. And diplomacy, we do want to locate this mission. Oh, look at that, we're already at 32% with the Anu. And they're the ones that I didn't want to in the beginning. It's kind of... Ironic. Yes, we found the Phoenix base! Oh, that is so cool! What do we have in there? Okay, we're gonna repair... Oh, they, it's already has a... Oh, nice, nice, nice. Food protection, we don't actually need. Can we just destroy it, demolish it? Yeah, okay, thank you. Excellent. Um, research lab, not important. Access lift, report important. But what we should build here, because I think we need this far out another area for potentially healing personnel. So I would say living quarters. Oh, we can build a containment here as well if we want to. How much is the containment? 150 tech. Access lift, fabrication plant, training facility, living quarters. And we want a medical bay first. Medical bay. And living quarters. Okay. That was a good find. Okay, we can now make the hammer. Ambush. Okay, we're gonna do the ambush. Hopefully it's not gonna take too long. Then we're gonna do Frozen, and that's that for this episode. I wanna progress as much as possible per episode, but it just means they're gonna be longer episodes if we have to do a lot of battles. And let me know in the comments below if you want me to cut certain battles out, like ambushes, scavengers, whatever, and only show if something really bad happens. Okay, we have to survive three turns. What do we have here? Okay, grenade launcher, machine gun. Okay, they don't have too much armor. So I would say, can we get inside a building? Especially with grenade launchers. I'm not a big fan of them. Oh, this would be great for a sniper, a little tower. Okay, we have another guy over here. Okay, silent echo pain chameleon. What is the armor levels on that? 10, 10, 10, okay. So we might want to get um, fish bed into here. Okay, let's do the usual, okay? Let's go first with Yar and some action points to check out the rest of the map by going over here. Okay, we have another enemy over there. Okay. You just have to be careful. Okay, let's get Darren. Thank you. And we have to stay away from the explodey boxes if possible. Actually, this is a very good location here. So, let's head over here. Now, we're going to do a quick aim. Oh, look at that. We have another guy right over here. Okay. Let's do a quick aim. And plus our marksman, which is another 50%... That's the machine gun, and that's the launcher arm, isn't it? Launcher arm. <laughs> we have that fully in. There's no way you couldn't miss. There's no way to miss. How did he miss? Try again. I, I don't get it. I don't get how he missed. That was perfect rectical. Targeting. Really annoyed about this now. Very annoying. Um, okay. We 
ahead and we're gonna head over here so that we can use the grenade launcher over here and hopefully we're gonna destroy something vital nice oh destroyed launcher i'm destroyed machine gun just oh that beautiful he's literally just machine gun and that's it that that is nice i love that Whew, very lucky there now michael could potentially come here and i'm going Do an overwatch here. Yeah, we can see in the cone that we can potentially hit other things as well. Jamie, I would say that's an explody barrel. We don't want to be there. Not much to hide out for, is there? I would like to go inside a building, that would be really great. But just in case there's more down here, let's head down here. This is full cover, which is very good. Full cover is always preferred. The tray is full cover here, but not here. That's typical. Okay. Let's go behind the car. I hope they can't blow it up. Silent echo. Okay. That's a little bit far, so I'm gonna say if it comes close to here where I have a better chance of hitting it, we're gonna overwatch this and zooming in. I think we should take care of this guy if we can. Disable the leg. Let's do it. Okay, so yeah, it's finished. Um Geotundra, I think we can start moving towards here. I do the jump jet it would be good to come right here on top of the roof but I don't know if we can be seen and be shot at which would be terrible so maybe we should go there could be others yeah there could be others coming from here so it's all really really Yoki, to be honest. Okay. I don't think there's a good answer here for any of it. Let's stay out of the direct line of fire and... Um, Let's go here. And then let's um, do our Overwatch right here. Providing Overwatch. Okay, that failed. Okay, wasted shot. Do we get a return fire? No. Not launcher, no launcher, please. Okay, good. 
Oh, nice. He comes around actually from here. That is good. Need to try again. Oh, these guys are so nicely close by each other. That is nice. Okay, so. Um, do we have a grenade launcher over here? Yes, we do. So what I'm going to do is go with fish bed and pop another grenade. Here we go. Disabled the arm. Disabled launcher arm. Nice. Okay, so that's actually perfect. So... Homes online. I think with Yar now. All I need is a clear shot. We can miss a lot as well, so I would say let's um, run forward. Crunch time. I would say destroy the head. The torso. If we can get the torso, that would be amazing. Yes, disable torso. Nice. And let's stay with um, return fire on the sniper rifle, I would say. Now. Geo, I think we should go full on in. Let's go and bring no Geo here. Let's have a look. the legs I suppose disabled the leg 20 bleed very nice okay I'm here now Michael can we get high ground with oh we can't there's no high ground here okay We have dash, which obviously would help. Thought there might be somebody else there. So we could do a quick aim. Do we need it? Where's the torso? Can't really get the torso here. If we can disable silent echo, then they can't do the silent shot, which means they will be seen when they shoot. <laughs> okay, Take disable that. the head, minus 14 willpower, that's fine. And he's moving up here. Let's go to Overwatch. Right here. Overwatching. Now Michael. So let's dash. I would say dash all the way over here and then shoot him right in the back. Torso disabled, nice. And then legs. Excellent. Kill shot. Beautiful. Okay, fish bed already had its turn. 
And now we just have Jamie, which I think we should bring forward now. Actually, let's do a dash. And then do another move. And let's do a widespread overwatch here, because I think there might be something else there. Okay. That's zero damage. Nice. And... Oh, return fire with a sniper rifle. It's the best thing ever. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, and return fire. Ooh, missed with the sniper rifle. Interesting. That is interesting. Okay. Taking aim. Actually, if I can get Jamie to uh, take out our friend, that would probably be best. Let's just get this over with. Yeah. I just rather waste the ammunition and get the kill because I don't know when they bleed out if you get the kill or not. I have no idea. Okay, is there anybody else here? If there is, yeah, we definitely want to have that covered. Okay, so Geo is gonna need the levels. So Geo is gonna go and I would say finish off our friend here, if possible. Be right there. So what do we have left? 160 hit points. Oh, that's Geo. Oh yeah, that should be it. Oh yeah, hammer time. Definitely. Strike. There we go. 140 damage dead. Beautiful. Now, I think now it's just a matter of evacuating. Just somewhere, I suppose. And somewhere and the same here providing overwatch okay we survived we have to evacuate um, to evacuate we must go to this area here okay excellent so this is literally just us running back i don't think there's anybody Standing else by. here so um and evacuate Ex excellent stuff very good, I like it. Geo got a little bit of a smack, but maybe we get a level? Yes, Geo got a level, nice, love it. Okay, I don't need to heal right now, but let's go and... Oh, look at that, Nigel is already level 3. That is insane. He levels up faster than our other guys because he is at our base. That is so insane. I wonder if it would make more sense to... Um, Oh, look at that. Michael leveled up. Jamie leveled up. What? Why are they all leveled up? Oh, hang on a second. The training... Huh? I'm very confused right now. Okay. I'm not going to complain. So, we can subclass right now. If we would want to. For Michael. And I do like our assaults subclassing into sniper but i think right now i want to wait for maybe getting allied with the anu and then get because the berserker class i think is the anu and then we can subclass to berserker which would actually be an interesting combination i think so it's something we're definitely worth trying out so for now i would say definitely Strength and speed. Because let's do... And one more strength. Okay, very good. Because now we have 21 in strength, which is actually really, really good. Um, which means we can... Take one of those, a neur neuron neuronizer. 
whenever we need it. We can carry one. Actually, the only way... They're the way too, yeah. So we can take one on here. And there's no shotguns. I actually have to craft another shotgun when I get a chance. Now let's see who else is leveled up. Jamie, nice. So finally, we can get return fire for Jamie, which is really, really good. That's exactly what I wanted. Oh, look at that. Gain mounted weapon proficiency. That would be really good. What else do we have here? Sniper damage. Gain sniper rifle proficiency with 25 damage. Oh, minus four willpower, though. Gain Assault Rifle Proficiency. I don't get... Gain Assault Rifle Proficiency with 20% damage and accuracy? We are an Assault Rifle. That's, that is awesome. Okay. So, I would say Dash is 4. So, unless we go 4 Willpower, we should go for... I think equipment-wise, we're doing okay. Okay. So strength is fine for the moment. So let's put it all into speed. Yeah, let's put it all into speed right now. That's probably the most important. And then we have Geo, which leveled up. Geo needs a lot of strength. Because he's melee. And he will be in the front a lot. So hit points, weight that can be carried off, how items can be thrown. That would be very important. Because we could make him... Actually, that reminds me. We could give him a couple of... Um, grenades. There we go. And, um, yeah, because he's in the front anyway. So a couple of grenades would always be good for him. And then to move around a lot, I would say this is four, so we need definitely two more here and then the rest speed. Oh, whoops. And one more to strength. There we go. Perfect. Attacks from enemies with intentiles deal 25% less damage. We got some extra points earlier for the Phoenix, so I think this is very important to have. Yeah, that's good. That means anybody coming close by, we take less damage. Now, equipment-wise, I actually want to get rid of the heavy armor because I'm no heavy. And the problem is that the jet jump, I can't use it. So what I want to do is I want to use some assault body armor instead. But I leave the heavy legs because I do think we need the armor. Okay, good. I like it. This is going coming together nicely. So I don't know what to do with you yet. We're going to subclass you to a sniper later. So we're going to be okay with that. So let's see who else leveled up. I think that's it. Okay, good. That was really, really good. So let's see what... Um, oh, yeah. 32, 32. 32. Um, there we go. Nice. And that's it. So let's go over to the Frozen quest and see what that is about. Our operatives have reached a defunct research station in northern Siberia, identified in Symes notes as a significant point of interest. The doors stand open and there are no signs of life. Investigate. The scientists who worked at the station are long dead. The mutated bodies lie frozen in strange demoniac poses. Demoniac poses. It's easy for our operatives to retrieve the samples they were researching when uh, which Randolph Symes came all this way to examine. In 2022, a group of researchers investigating an anthrax outbreak caused by melting permafrost in northern Siberia went missing. The Phoenix Project tried to find out what happened to them, but our resources were stretched too thin, and our allies in the Russian government were losing influence, so we let it go. All these years later, looking at these samples, I wonder, is this where it started? Is this the first outbreak? If we had done more, could we have stopped it? The genetic material I have recovered might hold the answers, but I'm not sure I want to know. Wow, that's pretty intense. Um, 
Okay. So now that we have direct access to the rest here. I would say definitely more exploration is coming up. And then we're going to do active Pandoran's. Oh, active Pandoran structure. Oh, this is a Pandoran nest. Yeah. So we have another nest here. I think what we could do in the next episode is go back home, heal up, and then go do the nest. That would make sense. The nest is always good because it helps everybody and gives us good uh, points with everybody. And But I think what I want to do is I want to do this mission first so we can get to the next stage with uh, the Sinedrians, which is very important. And it also means here we can put another area scan and we can put another area scan here as well, which allows us then to... Oh, look at that. That's all the way down there. Which allows us then to start scanning this area here as well. Yeah, so we have we have plans. We have plans. Prisoners of Ice is all the way down there. We still have to get there. Yeah. Area scan here. We might as well do that now, the area scan, so I don't forget about it. Excellent. And then we're going to head out to the rest. Our health is fine. Our stamina is fine. We can do another mission or two. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here. This is really awesome. I'm really enjoying this so far. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls. And I hope I see you guys in the next episode. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, viel Spaß and happy gaming.